Hello and welcome to another Inferno smoke tutorial, this time covering some of the extra and situational smokes that may come in use to you. Hopefully in situations where you sit there and think, if only I knew this smoke, and then you do because your friend Fantasy showed it to you in this video. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, if you're rotating from B and the bomb has been planted at A, or you just want to smoke pit for a retake, get yourself in this corner and then line your crosshair up as shown. This will then bounce off the wall and cover the vision from pit so that the only place they can see you from is if they jump on the truck. This smoke would be especially useful if combined with the next one, which is to smoke balcony from a similar position. So very simple this one, just lining up with the window frame and then aiming at the corner of the roof. This then bounces and covers the balcony nicely. This smoke is a little strange as not many people play this position behind the truck. I do see it occasionally, but it's nice to mix it up anyway. But you can put yourself in this corner of the truck and then aim at the top of this antenna and then right click. This is then going to allow you to see under the smoke for people pushing quads. So if you time this when your team say they're pushing mid, obviously this would work with an M4 as well. This smoke is also one way so people pushing quads aren't going to be able to see you. Also if you get overwhelmed you could just fall back into pit. The biggest problem with this position is if someone jumps out a balcony because your team if they're playing on the A-bomb can't see it so use it at your own risk. There have been a few ways for this smoke appearing recently and this is just my way that I've done it. So getting in this corner here, my lineup is actually with my model this time which I don't usually like doing uh, but these are my FOV settings. Also you can actually use it with your crosshair still if you just look here you're aiming between the two planks on the left. This smoke is only really useful if you're playing with a team. It will bounce and land on the banana car, meaning your players at B can peek under the smoke and then see the feet of the terrorist players when crouching. If the terrorist players are walking, then they're not going to see you at all. And if they crouch, then you'll still have an advantage because you'll see them first, so really it should be a kill. Now moving over to the B site, we'll go over some one-way smokes for the B players. These aren't as good as they used to be since the smoke visual update recently but they do still work. So firstly the most used one, getting in this corner here and aiming to the left of this black line and then throwing. This then lets you walk up to the car and see the corner of banana and anyone approaching the sandbags without them being able to see you. Although due to the update with the smoke particles this one tends to be a little random and sometimes you won't be able to see the corner but you can still see the push of sandbags so it's still very useful. This is the second one way smoke that I use, this time you'll be sitting on the car instead. Lining up with this wooden part, crouching and then aiming your crosshair just to the right of the sandbag or I guess to the top left corner of the one laying down. When you approach the car and get onto it you just need to move left until you can just basically see banana and you still feel pretty hidden. I've told him to walk and then shoot when he can see me just so you can see for how long it's one way. So it does take a while for a terrorist to be able to see you in this position and obviously you're going to be killing him way before he even gets to the sandbags. Or if he's already at sandbags you'll probably still kill him first anyway because he won't really be expecting you to get on the car as long as you don't make noise. So now I'm going to go over some T-side smokes. These are actually all from second mid to aid certain strategies by smoking different areas. So firstly, much like the fake smokes on Mirage from B to A, lining up with the end of this car and then in line with the middle of this pillar and on the roof. Then walking forward just a tiny bit and jump throwing. This is then going to smoke CT at B, having this as well as a player at B making noise, throwing flashes etc could make the player at arch rotate meaning you can quickly execute an A strat using these next smokes. Lining up with a shadow and then aiming just above this wooden plank will then smoke pit to help you push quad. This is one way to smoke library if you want it to land outside the door, lining up with this dark bit of the roof and then using the jump throw bind. This will then force anybody in library watching the cross to come out. In my basic Inferno smokes tutorial I showed two ways to smoke arch. Well here's a third way that's easier but it's more risky. Getting on the corner and then aiming at the tip of this roof and throwing will land a smoke in arch which is great. And then from the same position you can also smoke library. To do this you just need to aim your crosshair in line with this aerial and then raise it up until it meets the corner of this conditioning unit. It will bounce off the roof and through the door. And so we come to the last smoke. This one is to smoke the truck so players can get out of the balcony and can't be seen from a bomb. I'm lining this up with a part of the bush and then I'm going like not all the way to the wire just below it. I mean it's not that simple of a lineup but once you've done it a few times and practice it, it becomes quite easy. 
This will then land in the front of the truck, so it basically just lets people run out of apps without the fear of being shot until they get into the pit and probably all die. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned maybe even one smoke. The next map will probably be Dust 2. Bye bye.